What is happening, guys? We are back for another Quick Tip Tuesday. Really enjoying this series, man. This is going great. If there's anything you want to see on Quick Tip Tuesday, comment below. Let me know what it is, and maybe we can throw it in there for Quick Tip Tuesday. Today, we're talking about subtitles. Now, I don't do a lot of subtitles, but some people do, and I probably should do it a little more often. But there is a new feature here in Resolve 17.4.1 that was added as far as subtitles, and that's the ability to have the background of your subtitles adjust automatically. So take a look at this clip real quick. I threw together, did a little voiceover, threw some subtitles on there, and this is what it looks like with no background. And I'm gonna just show you how to turn on the background for your subtitles, and then just show you how they automatically update to size to whatever your text might be. It's pretty convenient. So roll that tape and uh, check out this clip. When life presents challenges, how would you respond? Are you willing to put in the work and rise above to overcome the challenges you face and prove it can be done. So jumping right into Resolve here, this is not a how to add subtitles. Uh, maybe we'll do one of those another time. If you're interested, comment and let me know if you're interested in that, how to put in subtitles and how to make them and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, I have some subtitles in here already. And as you saw, we just have white text, you know, and no background. Now, if I want to add in the background, I'm going to go ahead and click on one of my subtitles here. Notice we have a special subtitle track here. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to open my inspector. And now we've got all the options for our subtitles here. You can see the different subtitles that I've added. Now, in order to add in the background and put just a, you know, opaque background behind the letters here, we're gonna come over to style right here. Now, when we're in style, if I scroll down, obviously you've got other options here, which we're not gonna cover now, but for the background right here, turn on our background. And now you can see that the text has a background right behind it. Now, like I said, I haven't used subtitles in the past, but apparently you had to adjust the background for the text for each one, which that's kind of a pain, right? And time consuming. So now you can just make a couple adjustments here. Pick your color. You can have an outline on there if you want. You can change the corner radius if you want to do that. Um, or you can change the opacity here. But however you adjust these settings, it's going to apply to all of your subtitles. So now if I change, say I need to add some text in here, say I got to change it. So I'm going to come back to caption here. And I'm just going to add in uh, some more text. Um, what will you do? And you can see on the screen here, that background just updates in real time. So that's super convenient if you do a lot of subtitle work and you need to have that background in there just so that the text is more legible or clearer to see. So that saves a lot of time. And I think it's a great feature that they added here again in DaVinci Resolve 17.4.1. Dude, great features, man. Resolve is always adding a ton of great stuff here in Resolve. So that is today's Quick Tip Tuesday. If you thought it was cool, you learned a little something, go ahead and give it a thumbs up before we subscribe. If you haven't already, you want to see more Quick Tip Tuesdays or any more DaVinci Resolve stuff, definitely hit that subscribe button. And that's it for this week, guys. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.